and record oneself and all that. This That's is the, the test. Fella flip forward. Yes, test everything number is one. going up, up, and more. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gary Kulemi, a uh, fine artist, graphic designer, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, here in an undisclosed location in the United States of America with Juju Films. I'm going to do a mural on this bus for the fella on Broadway show. So this is going to be a walking, driving, roving, mobile walk of art. And I have my homies with me, <laughs> Chris Collett. Representing Colette Science, Juju Films, One Love, with some fella Kuti, you know, banging out with a little 70s logo, popping it on, cover it, some vinyl cover on this, a little collaboration, a little mixed media, and down, it's a work of art, baby. I'm AJ Powers, I'm a tattoo artist, my boy Chris right here, and I have been chilling for months now, and uh, I do tattoos, he does signs, we do them both, we get them both, and uh, we got no about fella Kuti now, and it's Look at us, we're connected with one of the amazing artists of the world and uh, it's a three-way, four-way, five-way collaboration all the way from Nigeria to the United States. On the camera, <laughs> and is it she's sweet? Oh, no. She's flavored like a Latina, like a Brazilian, <laughs> like an American. <laughs> and then you see one. Obama admiring piece. Definitely. Like, that's not even like it could have happened though. Let me yeah. test. Yes. Is it working. With tattooing and with most things in life, mm -hmm. the slower you go, the quicker you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, in the right attitude. In the right attitude, because you have to have patience in order to take every little placement correctly. Instead of making a mistake and having to fix your own mistake. As an artist, all three of us know that, right? Yeah. I'm trying to get by. I'm just trying to live life, that's all. Yeah, but you're doing your own duty. Contributing to human progress, really. Just live. Nothing special. Oh, we're working on something special. Special. Why are you hanging out with lemon? I've seen the special at the liquor store. It said, it said pure alcohol, no gas. You don't know what that means. In you know, Oklahoma, the gas stations all say pure gas, no alcohol. Ah, okay. There's <laughs> no alcohol in it. Like here they have ethanol. Yeah. In Oklahoma it's illegal. Oh, okay. They they're trying to put ethanol in gas to save the gas company money, but it makes you burn more fuel. Uh, it does. But so I've seen this liquor store said pure alcohol. <laughs> I don't know if my line's straight. Yeah, that, that my line's straight.
about this, he's not even, don't even look at it. He, talk to Lemmy, because that's all it is. We're Let me see your tattoo. Stand up, and let's see it in the way. So nice. Okay. Ah, you have to come down your high horse. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You can see it. Yeah. I first did a preliminary outline, and then a gray wash. Yeah. Because she didn't have much time. And then, when she came back to get it tattooed, I just went with all color. I ended up doing like 15 shades of color. Let me see the one on your neck. And this was a redo for her, and then I added to it. Move your hand. I got you. Without the shadow. Very colorful. And it was a gray outline when I started, and I drew on the second flower. Okay, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Yeah. And this is one of my. This is why people are my clientele. We sit here and chill. Spark that off. Spark that. Uh, and. This is all we do. So my tattooing, we're gonna do a little uh, rewind to where you're at, mm -hmm. because me and Lemmy, we're already in the midst of this conversation. Mm -hmm. Tattooing to me is something that once I started to do it, the first time I did it, I set up on myself. And I tattooed and setting up everything for the first time after watching thousands of hours of studying and thousands of hours of other people tattooing and watching every single one of my tattoos get done. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. I was hitting the blood. <laughs> I, uh. Lenny, what do you think about tattoos? Yeah, they're a lovely piece of Let art. Let me film you. Hmm? Let me film you and ask you. Okay. What do you think about tattoos, Lemmy? Tattoos are a lovely piece of art, yeah? Yes. It's art on the body, on mm -hmm. the human body. The human body serves as the canvas or the paper, you know? The most pure form. Yeah, yeah. so it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. I, I love the one you have on your belly. Thank you. Yeah. The one on your it's neck too is beautiful. beautiful artwork, yeah. yeah. Very well crafted and mm -hmm. looks very natural. Thank you. And it blends with your skin. Thank you. So AJ, AJ Powers, that's the best of if AJ Powers so far I've seen. If you would let him get like put one tattoo on you, what would it be? You say? Hypothetically speaking, if yeah. he were to give you a tattoo, yeah. what would you get? My bum. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, by eye. Okay, it's just I went off yours. Yeah. And because you see how you have like the dots right here and everything. Yeah. I just simplified it and made yeah. it so you see the black parts are connecting all the way to the bottom to the top. Okay. So we don't have any green and red touching, and okay. we have the contrast for Africa okay. that we wanted. Okay. And that's my interpretation of. Okay. Let me uh, work with my friend right here. Yeah. Okay. And then this this is uh. By far one of the best projects I've been able to work on, and you can see how uh, yeah. inspirational it is to me to, to be sitting here, sitting on the ground and doing this. Yeah. This is uh, how I do it. I like to be able to get it on there, one try, erase it, and then get it on there, and then, and then we start painting, just like we start tattooing. Yeah, and here's Jerry, Jerry just by my choice here. <laughs> when you watch TV at home, is Me? it? Yeah. When it, is it from America or is it from there? Yeah, we watch every uh, boats. We, we have cable. Oh, you so got cable. Yeah, we watch America Channel. What's going on here? <laughs> we watch opera. We watch entertainment. Uh, e, E, everything. <laughs> we have we, we watch uh, um, um, keeping up with the Kardashians. Okay. 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 Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, put the clear on. It's okay. Yeah. So we can put the sticker on on Thursday. <laughs> so, but there could be some stuff done today. Mm -hmm. If Chris wanted to, but if he don't want to, that's fine. If he wanted to draw that stuff, yeah. instead of projected with the projector, yeah. that could be done today. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the lettering. The lettering. Right. If he, uh, if and he, the patterns if, in yeah, skill. If he wanted to do that, he yeah. could do that. One <laughs> more time. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, he's going to be on the ferry to Nigeria. We're going to be off roading the Land Rover. Yeah. Like Yes. We're gonna pimp this thing out, Movella, yeah. overseas, because we gotta leave the bus here. Yeah. They paid for that shit. <laughs> so it's gonna be a custom job. Uh, yeah, custom job. Real custom. <laughs> you get them. That's right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Chris made that sign, disobeys it. Doesn't listen to anyone for some reason. Maybe he's gotta convince so he's gotta do some work today. About time. They're working. He's about two weeks behind. Oh. He's about to show how we do it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it has to be here. Chris is going to walk today. He's up before 1 o'clock. I can't believe that. <laughs> Yeah, when I was getting down yes, I to meet your dad, I saw you open your room door. I said, oh, Chris, awake by himself today. <laughs> See Megan? She was there. Oh, yeah, I saw her last night, yeah? Yeah. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Ask every night. Wow. Wow. Please. <laughs> <laughs> one, one girl in this. Yeah. yeah. Fella had three in this, so you... You have to up your game soon. <laughs> yeah, that's the lamination going on. Yeah, Chris Collet on the controls. Uh -huh. Yes. I know we thought of that one. Here it is, Lemmy making some new moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most time in my life on the Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah. What the Christian is no helmet. I'm so yeah. Scared. Exactly. He's gonna end up like me. <laughs> Let's get a look at this bike. Oh boy. Nice. Ha <laughs> 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 
Now I'm holding on to him like a koala. <laughs> Man, black and white, they tend to be black, but they could be. Uh, you know, they're from the ghetto with very yeah. poor education and they yeah. end up being smarter and more expressive than someone who had yeah. you know, All education degrees, for the majority yeah. of their life, like mm. with the vocabulary and whatnot. Mm. Wow. I'm not listening. Uh. <laughs> And there are two greens. Yeah, two greens. Yeah. That's why we're gonna do the dark green right now because that's gonna match the stripes. Yeah. And then do dark green where we can on the sides. Would appreciate it though. He knows yeah. how much madness he caused. Yeah, he knows. So, so, so this is a madness. Thank you, fella. Uh, I wish you were seeing this. Yeah, he's uh, smiling whenever he's smiling. He's, he's laughing. He saw smiling. me walk. I was, I was in my, I was uh, recording myself, and I was saying, you know, fella is watching me walk down the road and going, I'm the only yeah. one headed to do this. Thing. From Nigeria to connect. <laughs> they rather believe the lies and bullshit. Yeah. Because sometimes the truth is harder to believe. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. And the um, truth is too simple. It, it, it's for too complicated simple. minds. Yes, but you know sometimes it's too complex for the most sophisticated mind. Uh, yeah. The dreadlocks are waiting in the city. The city. Just to get it, just to get a jammy hurt. I gotta put like a stroke on the outside now or a cut line because the cut line is like within that black line. Oh, I see. So it would, kind of like it would basically be, it would, it would print everything and then cut inside that black line so it would be useless. So I need to like get the. Okay, maybe you should make line. the black line thicker then. Alright, I will. But this, I still need to get this. Yeah. Yeah, the black actually helps it to look like a ripple, yeah. So, what? Would you see the beggars that have a little sign on a cardboard? Uh, yes, I've seen them. Yeah. Uh, first Did you time, give them any money? Yes, in New York, when I first came. I in saw fact, I wanna... the beggar with a sign with a dog near Broom Street. Yeah. And and it says um, um make it fine, it, give me some it, money. <laughs> it says yeah. we need it says we need thirty dollars to get up the street. Right. And you know, because it was my first time here, right. I felt like thirty dollars I said she, she can make that money today. Yeah. So I gave her five dollars. Yeah. I said, Oh, she will make thirty dollars. Two weeks later I came back. Same. She was still there. Wait yeah, with the dog, and now the, the sign is weather beaten. And I said, ah. Oh. I know, I've done that. Get money and say, they need gas money to get home. Yeah. Next week. They still need gas. Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> and I still got the same People sign. People in London from the house all the time. They say, I wouldn't have seen them most of my money. I need to get a train ticket all the time. And then, you, like you said, the next day or whatever, I'll see the same dude on a different block saying yeah. the same shit. Good train, bro. Yeah, right? Okay, bye bye. Alright, okay. Alright. I already see they need touched up, but wait till the end because some some of them the lettering might cover up. Yeah. Some of them the bottom some, might cover yeah. up. Yeah. 
Exactly. But at the very, very end, like this, touch it up. It makes it easier for me. Use the ruler, right? Yeah. Like we did when we lined it up. You know. Stay, stay in the paint. So you don't leave a white line. I'm glad that the vision is uh, coming to you. Yeah, it's coming to reality. Reality. And this is shows manifestation from one continent to the other, right? Yeah, sure. All you have to do is design it and look at it now. Yeah, please tell me that story again, you know, the amazing thing about it. Right. The uh, flag. This, yeah, the story just was um, the contrast between life and death mm -hmm. and also the similarities at the same time yeah. where, like, giving uh, birth to a baby, a child who comes into this world slowly mm -hmm. uh, from the vagina and you just reach in and you sort of slowly welcome into this world. And basically when he came out of the, uh, the hearse yeah. with the casket, the military one, he came out slowly and there were people there ready to grab it. So it's kind of on that level of life and death and kind of reminded me of a birth in a sense or a rebirth, which mm. is crazy. Oh. And uh, there was another situation. Um, like you said, when they put the flag and gave it to his mom, yeah, the mom said, the flag gave it to his mother and that was yeah, Highly yeah, hysterical, yeah. Uh, didn't necessarily understand the magnitude at first. So yeah. when he came in, there was almost like a birth and a transformation within him in his life at that moment. That's how powerful it was. He came in kind of fidgety and not really being calm, a young boy, you know, dressed up and not really, like I said, understanding the magnitude of what actually happened. And then when his mother got the, the flag, he cried, and then they passed him the flag, and he just kind of chilled with it and grabbed it. And it was like a moment for him where you could tell he just realized some heavy shit. At the same time, also, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say earlier, but just speaking like the baby and the rebirth and everything, mm. she held the flag like a baby. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Literally, like it was her baby. She wasn't wow. holding it like on her lap or one hand or whatever. She yeah. was holding it like a baby. Yeah. Like Fela's funeral, the sun was shining so bright and rain was falling at the same time. Right. Yeah, and you know it's well, registered. You had a dream. Tell us about that. You never dreamed about it. Yeah, you I dreamt about it. Yeah, about, about, about three Wednesdays ago for this project. You know, I never dreamt about Fela before. But um, I was doing visuals, sending it to you know the company. Right. And they kept adjusting, adjusting. Eventually, you know, my it's school was telling right, me yeah. this is what needed to be done. It has to be real fella on it. You know, originally they wanted like uh, the actors who are playing fella and fella's mother. So in so the dream, that the original idea, the, the boss, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. So in the dream, fella came. Uh, you know, he appeared to me. He was having lunch. His normal system of having lunch. He has like a bucket full of soup. Bucket food. That's how he eats. Right. Like thirty pieces of meat to be in the. This, in the soup, and you know, he can eat as many as he wants. So, in the dream, he looked at me and smiled and dipped his hand inside the bucket of soup and gave me a piece of me, like, let me, wow. right? Right, like, take, so a that drink, was, like, take a bite, like, yeah, and that was like an approval for the visual, the, the final visual that eventually approved. got approved, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Lee, she's in the story also, right? She called me yesterday and she said, Did I see the comments? You know, I didn't look at the comments right. before, yeah, so today I checked the comments. I said to do a show on the moon with enough fuel to come back trip yeah. by trip and pick up yeah. the busloads of the van. Get off it. I said, get off it. <laughs> Shut these guys right up. Yeah. You know, some people are so ignorant. Yeah. What was it? Read it out loud, Chris, what you told those motherfuckers. Yeah. She was lovely. <laughs> enough moxie in this room to make the cowardly lion rethink that trip to Oz. A gluttonous attitude for your own disdain is what makes me nauseous. Mm. There's enough creative energy within 100 feet of this van to supply it with enough power to do a show on the moon, with enough fuel to come back trip by trip to pick up the busloads of fans. The essence of this project goes far beyond a trite comment left on a simple blog relating to an interpretation as well as an integration of music, art, soul, and pride. Yeah. Phil <laughs> <laughs> is way bigger than life now. He could eat you in this picture. At least it's still on TV right now. Smile, you on TV?
you know I told you this is chameleon Kalakuta chameleon boss are you guys gonna stay here all night? Um, Ah, okay. Let me just make sure that vinyl's on good. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Looks amazing, my friend. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. That's a sneak peek, right? I heard that. I, I could be wrong. But yeah. When, when, the, when you sneeze, yeah. your heart stops. Okay, yeah. I heard that. I don't know if it's true. It's true. It, then that's why they say God bless you, because you know. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I never thought about it so well, but now that you're saying it, I totally agree. Because when you sneeze, your, your heart, heart stops. Your heart stop. yeah. Yeah. I heard that. I don't know if it's true. Yeah, it's wild, right? It's funny. No, I, that's cool though. I just want to see if you saw it. Carlos really wants to get out yeah. of here. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Where's Raymond? Yes, I saw everyone. I saw Steve, I saw Edward, I saw Ruth, I saw half of it. The trauma didn't make it. The real trauma. Yeah, the yeah. This is the brothers, the biggest one I know. It's flat. So we couldn't come. But it was the another trauma was the fellow also that they should be able to do it. But the other drama was quite yes. Legacy of Fellow Food, the arts. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, I think that's nice. Yes, I, I put that intentionally, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was in Amsterdam News. If you see something, Say something. That's the MTA, the New wonderful. York Police um, one. Everybody say yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, de um, before we leave, I want to bring the, the car to your house. So you, you do some blessings. You put some prayer on it for us before we take it to New York. Oh, wonderful. Yes, when will that be? Um, I think by Friday evening it should be ready. Totally, because we still have to put some lettering on it as it is. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually from the Norwich Bulletin, so oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I was gonna come over and see if I could get them to advertise. Oh. Who knows? Maybe they'll put that in the uh, well in the paper. It's a recreation of the idea. Okay, when you go back to the yeah. Um, if not Friday evening, sir, it will be Saturday. So we're finishing up by Friday. We still have some lettering to put. It just yeah. Came back from the sound installation place, yes. Sir. So, but before we go, uh, we are going to bring the car to your house. We're bringing it to your house before we leave town. So you pray, you and um, mommy will pray. <laughs> so, like we do in Africa.
Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> Stand for like Alan Jr. or what? Anthony Joseph. Anthony Joseph? Yeah. Like it's a biblical. So you're a Christian man. Oh, my ass is vibrating from my cell phone. That means they can't stop calling me. I only have my phone on for three days. I can't stop. And I haven't been able to tattoo because I'm hanging out with my friend Lemon. Oh, you have to do stop bleaching their skin. Yeah, tell them. That's right, that's disgusting. It's nasty. Nasty. That's why he made a whole album. Yellow Fever. With lip in the handles. Lip in the handles. Yeah. Yeah, let the music play so it's fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Afro beat delay. Ah no. Just outside when we're leaving. I'm filming the house because I need Good memories to remember when <laughs> I get back to Lagos. Yes, sir. We're going to jail. I told them I got friends at the jail. Deb will bring them in so we can get them a private room. The whole deal. Well, I could sell you a pocket pass for the year for five hundred. <laughs> All right. I'll see you tonight. I'm bring, tell Pastor I'm bringing my friend Lemmy from Nigeria. Okay, bye bye. That was the pastor's wife. Ah, okay. The ring and ring. Yeah, so I'll wear my Nigerian clothes. This is where my friend <laughs> Lemmy was been here with me. My yeah. guest, my yeah. house guest. Yeah, this is the house, lovely house. We're going to miss him when he goes. Yeah, I'm going to miss him out too. And Debbie went to get him fish, his favorite. Yeah, and I got to go to jail with Debbie again. <laughs> You get up there, turn around. Yeah, yeah. This is the room, the guest room we have been staying almost three weeks now. We having a lot of fun, uh, beautiful view, beautiful atmosphere. Everything is just cool. The family is lovely. Everyone is lovely, including crazy 1200 CC <laughs> Chris Cole, <laughs> the rap star, rap star. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a lovely place. Lovely, lovely people. I'm going to church this evening. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I was in church. <laughs> but it would be a honor to see how your church is. Amen. It's your pastor, everyone. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All, it's all this is his bed. Village. He yeah. chose the small bed. Yeah. We were giving him the big king bed. But he chose the small bed. Yeah. And he there's the ceiling fan, that's yeah. all. Yeah, beautiful. He doesn't fan. want AC, he wants nothing. <laughs> and this is where he makes all his money at night on the computer. He pioneered most of the music for Africa, huh? 
Hell, yeah, Afrobeat music. Afrobeat, almost yeah. every single song. Body wall. It says Afrobeat on almost every song yeah, it is. that they play for yeah. that style, you know? Yeah, he created this time. That's amazing. Yeah, Africa, yeah. Yeah, where? Uh, Lagos. I know where. Uh, Nigeria, let me show you. Nigeria is here. That's where Nigeria is. Ah, it's in West Africa. So Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, yeah, Togo, Benin. Ah, okay. West Africa, yeah, Ghana. Yeah, Ghana is very popular in West Africa. Very, very. Because of what Kwame Nkrumah did as the first president of Ghana. When he was 18 years old, he worked with Phelan. Oh, really? He, he was an artist. Mm -hmm. He worked with them. And he designed, Phelan had records. He designed 26 yeah. uh, jackets. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. Really? yes. Yes. Wow. He was a yes. kid. Yes. Him and Bob Marley were players. He did some work for Bob Marley. Did you really? Yeah. Yes. I did a cover uh, for Bob Marley's uh, Talking Blues. For Bob Marley's Talking Blues. Hey, the whole place is going to hell. We see. I'm from Nigeria. I love mass hysteria. Everybody is happy in every area. Lagos to Ikeja. Everybody's starting to look around. We're painting a van in the gun of a while because they don't understand Philly style. <laughs> That's Fela in 1975 when I first designed that logo. Yeah. I designed that in 1975 originally. Yeah. So I had it stuck on all his 14 vehicles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Blazing like the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman, oh, you're the map. Come on for 
goddess, she go dance, lady dance. Africa woman go dance, she go dance the fire dance. Africa woman go dance, she go dance the fire dance. She no be man no master, she go cook for ram, she go do anything he say. But lady no be so, but lady no be so, but lady no be so. Thank you. 